hello everyone welcome to another video on Jupyter theme so in this video what we are going to do is to add the pop-up in the Jupyter theme so you can see here I have the Jupyter theme installed and activated I have this version but you can have the latest version or below it that does not matter we will add the pop-up I have choose this plugin to add the pop-up in Jupyter theme you can see this is plugin name is Icegram Icegram pop-ups you can search on the Google and it will load this page for you uh, the other benefit of using this uh, is that it gives you a lot of options like you can add the welcome bar opt-ins lead generation forms and the pop-ups so let's jump into and install it so first of all you will come to the dashboard of your website and here you will go to the plugins add new and here you will search the name icecrown here you go the first plugin you see pop-ups welcome bar opt-ins and lead generation plugin icecrown so let's install this one okay great plugin installed successfully let's activate the plugin okay the plugin is activated now you can see here we have the ice cream menu item on the left side of our dashboard you can create the new campaign from here they have also created a sample campaign so you can edit and publish that so you can also click this edit and publish it preview you can preview your first campaign or you can simply come here click on this campaigns link and here you see we have our first campaign this section will list all the campaigns we have the pop-ups and any other welcome bars or opt-in leads that all will be shown here okay so now what we have to do is to add a new campaign so from here I will come to the add new campaign I will click on this link okay great it shows you a different uh, style forms so you can use that you can see all the different layouts they have for the pop-ups some of uh, these are pro as you can see you will have to get the pro version of the plugin but there are also some free like you see these are all free here this one is the pro version this one is the pro version so let's choose this one the first one this is free you can see here this is the free uh, this is the layout of the bubble we can modify it according to our needs so if you would like to use this or anyone else that is free you can simply now click on this use this button in the top left corner okay it loaded the page for the pop-up so now we will edit the titles here these are all the settings you see show after dash this means that how many seconds after which the pop-up will load on your website so visitors can see this so for example I would like to keep 5 seconds so this pop-up will show up after 5 seconds this is the text we can change it what we need so for example I would say here enter your email 
address and get 20% discount coupon so this is the call to action you can say a button main call to action button uh, it has the title yes I want this you can change this label to anything you can target the link as well this is the color of the pop-up and as we are doing the changing changes let's update this and we can preview this as well it's not necessary to uh, publish it before launching the campaign you can first preview it from here as well here you go you see it shows up after 5 seconds get 20% discount on your first order enter your email so you can see here they have added the class inside this class IG heading and then they are applying the styles here if you make this section a bit bigger you see IG heading class from here you see IG heading and see here IG heading so this is the font size you can add any value here in pixels or in percentage any unit you would like so I will keep it like that just I will reduce it to 2 and you can also see here font weight option we have the line height margin position so if you know the CSS bit you can easily uh, adjust these things as well and you can see this one has the light color so maybe we can make it white as well so if I would like to change the color of this I will simply add this hash IG message and the P color white update the campaign I will actually reduce this time so I can make the changes quickly so I don't have to wait for a few seconds to have it loaded now you can see okay great you can see the color of this one is also turned to white now we have to add the form here uh, that we can also connect to the MailChimp and grab the customers emails to send them newsletter or monthly campaigns for MailChimp as well so let's do that for that you have to install the uh, another plugin that manages this one settings as well so this is the name of the plugin you see Icegram Rain, Rain Maker so click on this here it loaded the Rainmaker form, best forms plugin on WordPress. Let's activate the plugin. So this is our first form. I will simply edit it. And you can see here we have the name. I will show it. You can see name, email and the submit button. We can remove this one if we need to and we will make this submit button as yes yes I want this and you can see here we have the contact form as well custom form we can paste our HTML subscription form is great I will use that you can see here the design we can use we can make it classic iconic material or our theme styles inherited from our active WordPress theme I will keep it just classic and you can see the form actions here the thank you message we can show okay so I have added the message thank you for subscribing or you can add anything here uh, you can also redirect if you would like the customer to redirect to any thank you page or anything else you have that is easy as well next thing is to if you would like the customer to subscribe to a MailChimp list you can add their MailChimp campaign monitor and HubSpot there are three options you can see you can also connect to the campaign monitor and HubSpot 
so this is great thing another great thing so here you will add the API keys for campaign monitor you will add the client ID campaign monitor API key and authenticate email form data this is the email where the data will be received if you would like to receive the notification so you can add the emails here and this is for some developers you don't have to worry about this I will just add a sample email here and let's publish the form you can see here on the top we have the rain form shortcode we will copy this shortcode and enter into this campaign we will uncheck this option we don't need that and I think we also don't need that this button now because we have the button from our form and let's update the campaign I will reload the page okay great you can see here we have the form here once we will fill out the fields like I will name my Zahid I will enter the email and yes I want this now you can see we have the message thank you for subscribing you can write any message here I have already told you that from the form actions you can see here and yeah, now you can also redirect to a thank you page if you have and once the user is done they will simply close the pop-up and the last things we have the display rules here so here you can see uh, where you would like to show the pop-up on the home page currently we said we can show it sidewise on the selected pages as well you see now it opens up the list to select the pages so there are almost everything you can do with this plugin now you can uh, select this one as well the mobile if you would like to show it in or hide it on the mobile you can uncheck this on tablet on desktop and you can also select if you like to show the logged in user only this is useful when you have the customers on your website for example you have the woocommerce or e-commerce site and you would like to show only only to the uh, customers you have that are logged in so you will select this logged in now you have also the option to uh, which user role you would like to show customer I can select shop manager so you can see how great this plugin is and this one is uh, once shown do not show this campaign again so this one if once the this pop-up is shown to a user uh, then next time how many after how many days it will show again to the user or never you can select never two day one week you have different options here and once call to action is clicked so th this means that once the user has submitted the emails and subscribed to the campaign are ready then you can select so for example we edit our details here and click the yes I want this button now we have completely subscribed to this campaign now what you would like for this pop-up to do now this will never show to the user you can check mark this always because once the user has uh, submitted their details and uh, have completely subscribed to your uh, pop-up then you can simply never show this pop-up to them again or you can if you would like to show them again after any period of time you can select anything from here once you are done with the changes update the campaign and that's it we are done you can style this if you would like you can add your styles your theme specific styles or you can style it according to your needs uh, by applying the CSS code so I hope you like this tutorial thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel